In other words, if people thought that they were going to have favors, because they have, that's not the case. I've always said, if you're supporting me, you're supporting the vision of this country. If you're giving financial resources, it's because you believe that this is the kind of leadership that will build this country around. But if you expect that because you gave, you have the control over my soul, you're totally mistaken. So, I, I, I'm not going to mention names or specific circumstances, but we have had to remove people in our own campaign who think like traditional and act, who think and act like traditional politicians. So, uh, that's why I know that if I sit there and I keep saying this message, there's no personal favor in return for supporters. What will happen is that your dreams, the collective dream of this country, of your barangay, of your town, will be fulfilled. It benefits everybody. Okay, we have Peter. Plans for good. And the young people. Okay. Uh, this is of, of special interest to me, the young people, because I, I conduct a lot of training, education workshops for young people, not only the Philippines, but all over the world. I really believe, in fact for me, part of uh, my own hope for this country is that there's a vast majority of young people in this, in this country who are now going to vote, some of them for the first time, and some of them on um, the last election, okay, so they enter there. Uh, because it's, it's, you know, it's kind of difficult to talk to elder people who have set ways, we have a lot of experience in traditional politics, and we have no belief in innovation. The young people are new, they are predisposed to challenge the system system by their very nature. The young people are by their very nature are rebellious. In fact, I've told young people here, including leaders of young people in schools, that if, I, if a young person does not challenge the status quo, for the system, that young person is very old. Because from day one, since you were in the home of your parents, your mother, your born to a family, you raised a school, blah, blah, you're totally conditioned. You have no choice of your own, you're shaped on the outside. You're basically an automaton. At some point, when conscious reflection comes in, and critical thinking comes in, you will have to ask the question, can you accept what was actually forced fed to you when you were growing up. And so it's natural for young people to ask radical questions. That's why most of our heroes are young people. We saw us very young and we were very popular for 25. I mean, we seem to have a lot of young people. So the young, by their very psychology, are predisposed to examine the status quo. And they have a lot of reasons to examine the status quo. And this is the message of new politics. That's why increasingly also then, young people are coming to be really interested in our, in our campaign. But for the young people, we will actually develop opportunities for them to really enhance their leadership capacity, the capacity for critical thinking, improve choices in the curriculum of the schools to dialogue with the private sector, uh, most of the schools that we have today focus on uh, skills, but very little critical thinking, capacity to reflect, to philosophize, to really develop the higher centers of the brain and the human personality. And uh, so there will be the National Youth Commission, for example, will be revitalized so that it will be depoliticized as an instrument of politics. This is what they've been doing in the National Youth Commission. The National Youth Commission will be totally strengthened to become the barrier of new impulses, not only in politics, but also in culture and business. And this is the way to engage young people in a meaningful participation in creating the future destiny of this country. So there will be a very strong support for young people uh, in the new government. Okay. 
and among people with uh, differently able. Okay. Uh, I've also been in Dahil Shalom with uh, people who are differently able. Uh, for example, there's the uh, St. the College of St. Denis, for example, we have a lot of uh, deaf, uh, basically deaf, right? And uh, there are potential partnerships. You know, it's interesting that, for example, if you're deaf, the brain compensates and develops an unusual capacity for your eyes. So, I mean, if, if, all, if people only use the scientific basis of compensation in the brain, because the brain is plastic, plastic in the sense that it can be compensated for any damage, then you can see that these people have special ability to say in websites, in the internet, and all of this, then they can be channeled there. We should remove a culture of automatic disqualification. And this will be achieved through education, to dialogue, complete partnerships, showing that the different able can be gainfully employed and treated with respect. So uh, we have a lot of more questions, but I think we should wrap up already. It's two hours. Oh my God. <laughs> As a closing message to the electorate, what would you like to deliver to the online audience and to those internet users and how they can reach out to non-internet users also? Yes. I, I think the, for me the, the message that I've been spreading all over the country is that 2010 elections is not going to be an ordinary election. It is going to be a very different election. And a lot is at stake in 2010. And a lot of Filipinos have waited for 2010 to truly express their sentiment for, for, the Philippines, for the Philippines. So I think let us all collectively make this one of the most conscious elections, if not the conscious, the most conscious election in Philippine history. And now also in the age of the internet, in the age of bloggers and tweeters, it's definitely possible uh, to do this. And I think, uh, I mean, for me, I really believe that the bloggers have a major role in reflection. And I find maybe this is a, a kind of, I find bloggers more open than conventional journalists in mainstream newspapers. So I would, I would really encourage uh, bloggers to, to maintain that independent stance of allowing Filipinos to really discern who really can lead this country into a renaissance, into a new one to express its highest possibilities. Th that is the key message because in the end, it will not be one person, but all of us collectively awakening to hope for the best in this country, first during elections and then after elections. Let's truly make this a functional democracy, one of the best in the world, because we really care for this country. Thank you. Thank you for guesting with us, yes. for last, and we well, wish you the best. Yes. We hope uh, uh, people will favor track record, character, over winnability, yes. and uh, buhay in new politics. Thank so, you. Salamat, salamat. Thank you.